In this lecture, we are going to learn a simple but very important concept in MongoDB and that is what do we mean by atomicity of a write operation in MongoDB. This is also a very frequently asked interview question, so please pay attention. In context of databases, atomicity means that a transaction is either fully completed or not at all. There is no partial completion and this ensures data consistency and integrity. Let's try to understand it with an example. So here I'm going to take an example of inserting a single document using insert one method. So here we have our client which is Mongo shell and here we have our MongoDB server where our database and collections are. Now let's say in one of the collections of this MongoDB database I want to insert a document and since I want to insert a single document I can use insert one method. So to this insert one method we will pass this document which we want to insert in MongoDB collection. Now most of the time the insert operation will succeed but sometimes it is possible that the insert operation might fail. It is possible that something went wrong when the document was inserting. It could be a network issue or maybe server restarted or any other issue. But the point is insert operation stopped in the middle. So here we are assuming that the document was partially inserted. That means some of the fields of the documents were already written to the database file by the storage engine, but other fields were not written when something went wrong. So for example, let's say when the insert operation was happening at that time, the name and age field was saved in the database file. And after that, something went wrong. Maybe the server restarted. And because of that, the other three fields were not written in the database file. Now in MongoDB, if something like this happens where the partial document is written or the partial document is updated or deleted, in that case, MongoDB will make sure that the transaction is failed completely and everything rolls back. That means in case of insert operation, when this name and age field was written to the database file, but the other fields were not written because of network issue, MongoDB will make sure that these two fields, this name and age, which was written in the database file, that is also rolled back, that is also deleted from the database file. And this is called as atomicity. A transaction either succeeds as a whole or it fails as a whole. There will not be any partial insertion, update or deletion of data. Either the insert, update or delete will happen for the complete data or no data at all. And this is what atomicity means. In simple words, when we are inserting a document in a collection, either the document will be completely inserted with all its fields or it will be not inserted at all. And this is true for update and delete as well. In that case, the operation will be rolled back and no data will be saved. Here in case of insert operation, when we are trying to perform an insert operation and if the document is inserted partially, in that case MongoDB will roll back that operation and no data will be saved in the database file. But if the document was inserted completely, that means if no error has occurred, in that case the whole document will be saved in the database file. Okay, okay, so always remember that for a document, the partial insertion, partial update and partial deletion will never happen. If it happens, MongoDB will roll back the changes which was saved in the database. And this is called as atomicity. A transaction either succeeds as a whole or it fails as a whole. There will not be any partial insertion, update or deletion of data. So now we know what atomicity is. Now another very important point related to atomicity is that atomicity is applied on per document level. Okay, and here I'm not talking about nested documents. I'm talking about the main documents of a collection. So in MongoDB, atomicity is applied on per document level and not on the data level which is involved in the transaction. Let's try to understand it with another example. So let's say instead of insert one, now I'm using insert many method. And with this insert many method, I want to pass a list of document which I want to insert in a collection of MongoDB database. Now, during the insert operation, let's say the first document was successfully inserted in the collection. 
and the second document is inserting and suddenly something went wrong so the second document is partially inserted it is not completely inserted but the first document is completely inserted now here mongodb is not going to roll back the complete data that means it is not going to roll back the already inserted first document that will not happen why because in mongodb atomicity is applied on document level so if the document is already inserted it is completely inserted in the database then that will not be rolled back for the second document in our example it was partially inserted so since this document was partially inserted it will be rolled back because it was not inserted completely but the first document it was completely inserted in the collection so this will not be rolled back okay so while inserting updating or deleting multiple documents if something goes wrong the already inserted updated or deleted document will not be rolled back only those documents which were partially inserted or partially updated or partially deleted that will be rolled back and the reason is atomicity is applied on per document level and not on the data level which we are using for that transaction so for this transaction we have an array of documents so this is the data which we are using in this transaction so if something goes wrong it does not mean that the complete data will be rolled back that is not going to happen only those documents will be rolled back which was partially inserted updated or deleted and this is what we mean when we say that in mongodb atomicity is applied on per document level and we have also seen this behavior when we talked about ordered and unordered insertion i hope you remember it now we can actually control the atomicity on bulk inserts or bulk update operations and we will learn how we can do that when we will learn about transactions and rollbacks in mongodb so in the context of databases atomicity means that a transaction is either fully completed or not at all there is no partial completion and this ensures data consistency and integrity and in mongodb atomicity is guaranteed at the document level this means that any operation on a single document whether it's an insert update or delete will be atomic if an operation fails midway the document remains unchanged this is all from this lecture if you have any questions related to atomicity then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day